but so I turned the camera off talking about crankbaits and uh, in our last video and Chrissy said you know that's pretty cool that bass eat um, rats I think I like them more now and then I said yeah bass eat all kinds of stuff like <laughs> snakes and baby ducks and you know pretty much anything that'll swim across the surface if they can fit it in their mouth and they'll eat it and she said how did they eat a snake <laughs> How they fit that big old thing in their mouth and i'm like well they don't eat five footers but they do eat little snakes and she said huh maybe that's why you don't see so many snakes and i said yeah and i said you know a lot of times i'll swim a, a big worm across the surface and uh they blow it up and uh eat it and, and it looks a lot like a baby snake swimming across the surface and she said how do you keep it on the top <laughs> All right, so if you've never buzzed a worm across the top, especially in the summertime when snakes are super active, uh, we're gonna we're gonna this time we're actually gonna be making fun of Chrissy a little bit. Here's the deal: <laughs> all you do is rig. A, I like a 12-inch culprit worm, ribbon tail style. Uh, rig it on a, a five to seven odd hook, and when you cast it out, just hold your rod tip up vertical and reel it pretty fast. So I've got this loose uh, 8.3 to one. Um, speed spool cast and reel that is deadly for this kind of thing so you fish it a lot like you'd fish a zoom horny toad or a, a ribbit you know a stanley ribbit frog can you wait a minute but basically we'll, we'll get back to that let's keep it simple for this video if you've <laughs> never buzzed a worm i call it speed worming or snaking you know doug hannon and a couple of other people have made snake lures you don't got to get into all that, but if you literally just take a worm, sorry, I hit the rumble strip there. If you just take a worm, rig it weedless, no bullet weight, no nothing, cast it out, hold your rod tip at about 11 o'clock, almost vertical, and just reel it as fast as you can. And when they blow up on it, just drop your rod tip, reel up the slack, set the hook. You will catch a ton of fish, especially night fishing in the summertime. So baby, bass eat snakes, and the way that you keep it on the top, is you just hold your rod tip up and reel it real fast. Of all so, the stuff you said, that's the only thing I understood was keep your rod tip vertical. Keep your rod tip vertical and reel real fast. I'll tell you what I'll do. Rather than tell you about it, I'll just um, I'll just show you, you next time we go fishing. fishing. I'll take your night fishing and show you. So listen, guys, if you've never fished a worm on top, you need to add that to your arsenal, especially your night fishing arsenal. Arsenal it, In the summertime, snakes are super active. They swim across the surface of the water a lot. Uh, and, and on a number of occasions, I've been out kayak fishing and saw a snake swimming across the surface and then it looked like a, a bowling ball was dropped out of an airplane and it just disappeared. So either that or a, a toilet flush just sucked it down. <laughs> sometimes they blow up on it, sometimes they just suck it down and it is gone. So. You know, comment below and tell me what the most interesting thing uh, or exotic thing that you've ever seen uh, or if you've ever witnessed a bass eat. Not a lure, but like an actual critter. I actually had one one time uh, try to eat a little, uh, remember the little like 10 ounce or 12 ounce uh, plastic Coke bottles they came out with for a long time? They're only like that big. Yeah, I saw one of them. The wind was blowing it across the surface and the bass blew up on it and took it under and it was under for a good minute and then it just popped up about 30 <laughs> yards away. So bass are opportunistic feeders. If you've never speed wormed or snaked or buzzed a salt plastic worm across the surface, you are wrong. So again, comment below. Tell me what you think about the most crazy thing you've ever seen a bass eat and uh, what kind of lures that you use that mimic those things. And uh, anyway, just in general, what you think about bass eating snakes. So give the video a big thumbs up and uh, give Christy uh, uh, some words of encouragement and say thanks for being our guinea pig slash beta tester slash um, focal point for this new series as she learns, you'll learn. So anyway, thanks for watching. As always, please subscribe to Kayak Bass and TV and uh, we'll see you next time. Attention to that blinking red light on the camera. <laughs> no, I said I'm not.
leave it up to y'all to comment on that one. Just Chad! Caption below. Just. Oh my God.